some new shoes on the bike today. Some Michelin Road Pilot 5s. So we're going to go take them out and start scrubbing them in. the tires too hard just yet I literally only have like four miles on them but I can already tell a difference just in the way the bike tracks and feels on the roads it seems like it just wants to I don't know follow a line a little bit better the physical touch and feel of the tires like you can touch the Dunlops and then squeeze the the road pilot and you can feel an obvious difference. And just riding over gravel when I was leaving the uh, parking lot at Superbike Unlimited, the tires were, you know, cold as they could be and they were picking up like every little speck of dirt and debris. Like sand and grit was just sticking to the tires like they had glue on them. I actually heard something fall down and like bounce off the rotor and make a metallic ting sound. I thought, what the crap? I thought something was loose on the bike and it was the tires picking up like loose gravel on the asphalt. I was like, oh damn, they're not even warm in there this tacky. I had a set of Road Pilot 3's years back and they were great. They felt good, they handled great, they had good wet weather traction and uh, they were a really good set of tires. That's why I decided to go with them again for this one. Now the Dunlops uh, put on the rims for the Ninja 650 so we can get some more mileage out of them, repurpose them a little bit. That'll be a good tire to keep on that bike as it's the same size as factory. And it'll allow me to ride the bike around, get it tuned up, figure out what I really want to do with it. And I hate to have just a set of tires sitting around not doing anything. So we'll put them to work. Man, these tires feel really good. I mean, it's like the lean angle on them. I know they're the same size tire, but it just feels like, I, I don't know, it's it's a lot smoother, I guess, going into the corners. It feels like the tires are um, maybe flexing a little bit better. Could just be me, you know, the mental thing, the psychological uh, effect of having something new on the bike. Yeah, these tires actually, uh, you know, they were rather reasonable for the set. It was $310. Picked them up from Supermike Unlimited. And I'll give you a close-up of the wheel. We'll take a gander at them. And you can see the tread patterns like way better than the Dunlop Sport Max. Matter of fact, let's throw them up side by side here. I mean, check this out. Huge difference in tread pattern. I mean, it just looks like the road pilots would just not just push water out of the way, but just shove it off the road. Yeah, I have just not been pleased at all with the Dunlops. I mean, they just and they, they do not like uh, anything less than well-paved, pristine road. Just the tractions. I mean, for the center, you know, if you're just riding, it's fine. But if you're hitting curvy mountain roads and old peat gravel and patch-paved roads, like I have here, if you guys have seen, they just, they don't perform. You know, even the guys over at Superbike, they're like, yeah... The Dunlop track tires, we don't like those either. 
stops. So we could imagine how poorly those perform, how bad the road tires probably are. I was like, yeah, they're crap. They're an economical tire, though. I mean, you can't knock them for what they are. I mean, they're a, a fair performing economic tire. Find out if the parkway is open or not. Hopefully it's open, please. So I really, 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 really don't want to have to go down Hendo. This is Hendo right here. Shoot, it's not bad at all. Hmm. But you know what? Gates open! good stuff I'm not really gonna be able to push them and get good traction today so let's talk about what we want to do to the ninja I gotta decide what kind of exhaust I want do I want another Yoshimura I don't think they make an alpha slip-on for that bike they make another series you know Yoshimura makes good stuff no doubt but on the other hand I really like the style of that X, LX, was it LX3B, the black twin pipe design, kind of just nice and neat, tucked up under the bike, very slim, minimalist kind of deal. I really, really like that. And it sounds pretty daggum good too. So I may go that route and then see if the guys from uh, Superbike Unlimited can do an ECU tune. Instead of doing a Power Commander, I'm not doing a Power Commander anyway, uh, I would most likely do Bazaz or another Rapid Bike. You know, put like a ZFI from Bazaz. But I really like the auto-tune feature that Rapid Bike has, but I think, anyway, rambling again, I believe I'd rather do a straight up ECU tune from Superbike Unlimited and today he told me that he only had it he could do 06 07 and 08 in his system for this bike so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research and see if anything's changed as far as the ECU between those and the 09 because it's like every three years they've changed from you know 6 m8 and then 9 10 11 and for whatever reason, the 9, 10, and 11 seems to be more expensive for everything. Everything on that series, and I'm not sure why. Especially with the fairings. Holy crap, huge price difference. But I got lucky and found injection molded ABS fairings for a really good price. Uh, it kind of looked like someone had ordered those fairings and then maybe change their mind or I don't know but they had them marked way down and apparently they're in new condition so we'll see yeah another thing I was talking about doing to the ninja just changing gears made me think of it uh, I was looking at throwing a slipper clutch in that bad boy holy crap that's one hell of an upgrade that the Z650 got, considering how much you have to pay for a replacement, and it doesn't matter if it's whatever brand Kawasaki has chosen to use, or if it's an aftermarket, you're going to pay a bloody freaking premium. I mean, it's, it's retarded. Like, the one I was looking at from Yo-Yo Don was... 60 something I'm like damn it I need to get the bike running before I decide to do uh, 
before I decide to do a daggum slipper clutch. Which I'd like one, but dang. But yeah, guys, help me out on this uh, Ninja Rebuild. Give me some ideas of what we can do. I've got a lot that's getting ready to be done to it this weekend. Hopefully, if I can manage to not have to be on call and work so damn much. So today's Friday. I'm working all day tomorrow. I've got a lot of video to put together for what has been done already to the bike this week. Ladies and gents, as always, please hit that like and subscribe and the bell icon so you get notifications when we put new videos up. We're going to be doing a chain and sprocket install here in the next day or so, and that video will be uploaded here shortly after. So if you want to know how to adjust and align your chain and change all that good stuff, then keep with the channel. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Ride safe, and we will see you next time.